So let's have an example here. Please use your pen and paper. Uh, so we will have a quiz. <laughs> well, ano lang to? Chill, chill quiz lang to. Okay, so this is 4-1 of your... Um, I'm having a naming system when we go... Hili ko sa naming system, di ba? <laughs> This is the fourth, the first problem for the for the fourth lecture. So, at which point or points does the object have the highest displacement? Okay. Okay. Pili pili lang. So, use your pen or paper. Kung gusto yung chat direct message, pa yun naman. Okay. So, given this particular curve, which point does the object have? Uh, the high. At which point or points does the object have the highest displacement? San pina kamalaki yung displacement niya? So you can always do the personal chat. Kung gusto mo naman ibigay yung sagot mo sa, pub, sa class, pwede naman. Okay? And then next. So, ayan. Okay. So, nakuha na yung item na to. Nakuha na ng karamihan. Let's go to the next item. Which point or points is the object at rest? Kailan nakahinto yung object? Kailan nakahinto yung object? At which points does the object is the object at rest? Okay. From here, napapansin nyo na, di ba? Given a particular graph, walang ang values, di ba? Walang values, pero kaya natin mag-deduce ng property ng, of, ng particle by just looking at the slopes or at the curvatures of the particle. Of the, oh, sorry, of the graph. Hindi <laughs> particle, yung graph, yung may curvature. Okay, so yan, may mga responses na yung iba. Okay, sige, thank you for your responses. Now, let's go to the final item for this quiz. At which point or points is the object fastened? Kailan pinakamabilis yung object? Okay? Kailan pinakamabilis yung object? Sa A, sa B, sa C, sa D, or sa E? Okay, may mga responses. There's our direct messages. Thank you for your responses. Okay, sige. Now, okay. So, nakuha. Nakuha na yung mga tanong. Nakuha na. Nakuha. So, walang mga questions. Okay. Let's answer the following. Okay. Let's go to the following. So, first, at which point or points does the object have the highest displacement? Paano may measure yan? Paano may measure yan? Yung highest displacement. Ganito. Remember, the particle originally starts at the origin. Therefore, ang gusto mo dapat makita dyan kung gaano siya kalayo from the origin. So, ano yung measure ko? Ganito ba yung pagsukat ko? Ganyan? Ganyan yung pagsukat ko? Ganyan ba? Saan ko susukatin? Dito ba? Ganyan? Ganyan ba yung pagsukat ko? Itong lens ba na to yung pinaka, pinaka distance? Yan ba yung sagot? Paano? This, there's a question in the exam before na marami nagkamali dahil nakalimutan nila to. <laughs> dapat ay from x-axis, correct? Kasi dapat mula dito. So for example, ayan, ah, sinagot ko na. So let's say here, this is the distance. This is the distance. Walang distance, therefore, it returns to the, to the origin. This is that distance and this is that distance. And therefore, the answer is B. Yeah. Kasi siya yung pinakamalayo dun sa e-axis, sa time axis mo. Okay? Questions? May tanong? May tanong ba? May tanong ba dito? Wala? Gets? It should be in letter B. Okay? Sige. So, kung wala naman, let's go to the second question. At which pointer points the object at rest? Anong pinakahint dyan? Anong pinakahint? Anong pinakahint? Kailan nagiging zero? Dapat ang slope mo ay zero. Kasi, in that case, if the slope is zero, the velocity is equal to zero. Right? Because the slope of, of the tangent line determines your instantaneous acceler uh, velocity, which gives you the value of the velocity at that particular point. Diba? Therefore, at v, uh, at, uh, if the slope is zero, then the velocity is also zero. So, hanapin natin yung mga slopes nila. Okay, check natin yung slopes nila. So, yan. So, for example, A has this slope. B has this slope, C, ganito yung slope niya, D, ganito yung slope niya, and E, ganito yung slope niya. Therefore, which among these slopes is horizontal in nature? Alin dyan? B, D, and E. Yes, exactly. So B, D, and E. Therefore, the answer for this item is B, 
D, and E. Okay? Malinaw kung bakit ganon. Pag ang pag ang slope of the tangent line, again, this is just position time ha, position time pa lang tayo. If the slope of the tangent line for the position time graph is flat line or horizontal line, then the velocity at that point is zero. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong ba? Wala? Now, for the last question for this particular quiz, at which point or points is the object fastest? How do you determine it? Ayan, binigay na yung sagot. <laughs> letter C. Why is it letter C? Kasi from the slopes, we see that the one at, at point C is the steepest. Yung pinaka-steep, yung pinaka-mabilis dapat yung... Um, uh, if, regardless ko anong sign, kasi we're only talking of how slow or fast the object is. Therefore, speed yan. Hindi yan velocity. Then... Hence, even though that A has a positive slope, C has the steepest slope. Therefore, since the steepest C, C um, in that case, I uh, dapat pala ka malaki yung kanyang speed. And therefore, at that point, the particle is fastest at points. Questions? So, may tanong ba? May tanong dito? Okay. Are there any questions here? May tanong ba rito? Answer. Ah, 